And he was, but how significant would the Rockets lead be by the end of the evening? Let's find out. Final frame of this session, Matthew Stevens to break. Referee Brendan Moore announces the final frame of this session. And already, as we've said earlier, this is quite a big frame for Matthew Stevens. 5-3, he'll be delighted to get 5-3. in the eyes of the crucible they thought he was going to fluke that red uh, what has he left a l anxious look from Ronnie there he knows he can plant one red onto the other <coughs> now that is a possibility but would he risk it plant one red onto the other nudge the black into a potable position has he got the angle to do that because that would knock the red away from the pocket. Uh, you see, the black won't go, so he'd have to just nudge the black. Could he not pot the one nearest the black then and play the plant? He's playing the high one. I don't think he can see enough of that other one. But, you know, he tried to do and play the shot I mentioned, and he took his eye Thank off the you. plant Quiet again. Down, he was please. more concerned about the cannon to bring the black into play. Wow, he's missed a couple of chances tonight. One. They've only got one session tomorrow, and then they'll have the two remaining sessions the day after, so it's a... Uh... Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Both players at the moment have lost a little bit of focus, a little bit of concentration. But that can happen sometimes in the last frame of a session. You start thinking to yourself, I can be four frames in front. And that's no good. And that's no good, Matthew. Well, can you not take pictures up there, please? Yeah, someone's got the camera, so you're not allowed to take pictures in the crucible. Again. <laughs> I think he said, can I have that one again? Well, we'll show you what he played and uh, he's gone into the reds at base. Obviously really wanted the white to stop about there. So he could have potted the black. <clears throat> Because he's bridging over the red, he can't get enough side on it to swing the white up past the blue and up towards the safety zone. And if he leaves at this side of the table, he's going to get it tight on the cushion. Matthew Stevens, what? Well. All he could do, he's handed the, handed the initiative to Ronnie O'Sullivan here. He can play a telling safety. Looking to see where he'd like to hide the cue ball. He'll be removing that red that's near the corner pocket to do that. <coughs> Not the best from Ronnie. He's left a couple of escape routes. play off that red and, well, it doesn't have to go along the line but somewhere along there will get him around the back of the black <laughs> well 
Oh, Ronnie's got a very, very similar shot to what Dennis put up for Matthew to play, but this is a little bit more difficult because it's closer to the cushion. So it's, a bit, it's easy to hit these thick or thin, and always easy to hit them just right. And because this is too thin, it's pushed to red. Will the green come to his rescue? No, it won't. So this is the first chance for Matthew in this frame. Little shake of the head, which you don't see very often from Ronnie, but this, this is not easy. He's going to have to force this, uh, otherwise he'll cannon into all sorts of uh, obstacles there. Well, he's found a gap. Uh, he's done very well oh. to find that gap. <laughs> he stroked that red in beautifully. I thought he was going to have to force it, but he he knew he was going to cannon something, but he, he played that four. absolutely perfectly to get that gap. Deserved a little flick on the pink. Oh, that's Five. a little careless. That's a little bit careless because he's hampered now. Played for the black there. Change of plan. Now oh, the pink. Matthew looks at the angle from behind the pink. Not many players do that. You had to take your hat off to Matthew. He's uh, been nothing like his normal self this evening. He's been kept on the on his chair for quite a considerable amount of time, and somehow, twelve, he's got himself back into this session. What success rate? Seventy-nine percent, and every chance he's going to be just two behind. But as I mentioned in the first four frames, he, he never got any sort of chance in amongst the reds like this. 18. And to be fair to Ronnie, he never 19. got in amongst the reds like this. That's why the, the highest break is what you see there, 66 and 48. Yes, I think this match will develop into being an excellent match. It hasn't been so far this evening. Very tactical. <coughs> 25. Sounds strange, but Matthew's almost trying not to, to lose rather than to win, if, if you know what I mean. He's getting in the balls, and if he gets out of the balls, he's not risking anything. And like I say, he's never been nowhere near 26. the form he has been in his previous matches. Mind you, when you get to the semi-final in the one-table situation, you don't lose your form. You've played terrific snooker to get there. You just lose a little bit of rhythm, but it's building up very nicely. 5-3, well, he'd be absolutely delighted after losing the first four. Has he covered this? Red and the pink was back on the black spot. Thirty-eight. There's one to the middle, but uh, well, there's one to either middle, but not as easy as that one to the right of the pink would have been. Forty-five. Forty-six. Matthew Stevens has got quite a bit of support uh, with him for this semi-final. Lots of friends and fans have travelled up from South Wales. Fifty-two. Well, that's already his highest break of the match. 
It's a pretty good time to get it, isn't it? 53. They play again tomorrow afternoon. And then they play the final two sessions the following day. Fifty nine. Sixty. I mentioned earlier it's been two thousand and five since Matthew's been to the one table situation, lost to Sean Murphy. Sixty six. Eighteen sixteen when he was in control. Sean Murphy played some fabulous snooker to win that year, but he's back where he wants to be. He loves it here at the Crucible and it's nice to see the Welshman back. Seventy two. 73. Now, the highest break of the night on a chance of a century, which didn't look likely a little while ago. 79. 80. We've had 60 centuries so far this year. Can he knock the long blue in? No. What a shame, no century break. But I'll tell you what, Matthew Stevens will be more than delighted. Both players, big smiles there. Hadn't been vintage stuff, but the frames went rather awkward. But that 80 break gets Matthew Stevens to just two behind, 5-3 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. And they'll be back in the afternoon for the second session of four. But this afternoon was the start of the first semi-final and it featured the highest ranked player left in this year's draw, Glasgow's Stephen Maguire, the world number six, and Ali Carter, who's returned to health and indeed form, he has Crohn's disease, has been one of the best feel-good stories of the entire championship. Here's how their first session went. test of queuing this is. Well he's absolutely hit it beautifully. He'll be happy. 2-0. Oh that was better. Boy is he playing well 2-0. Overcut it. Overcut it. In goes the blood, and Ali Carter goes ahead. Three frames to two. Ali Carter is going on the defensive. Let's see the gap. A little bit dangerous to me. Well, would you believe it? Would you believe that, eh? Ali Carter leads 5 3.